Hello everyone, how are you? Hey, you know what happened to L.A. Bree? Episode 3 of Season 2. This is a really good episode. I enjoyed this one, folks. Um, here's recap of what happened for you, for all you L.A. Bree fans out there. Um, Gavin is reunited with Eve, um, but he misses seeing Eve sleeping with Nevar, which I was kind of disappointed. I was really hoping to see his reaction, seeing his wife sleep with his best friend. And she's been sleeping with him for years now behind his back and that when the marriage was in trouble. And that, um, but no, it didn't happen. Um, Nevar and Eve are shocked Gavin's there. Eve asks, where's Liz? Gavin says she's back at the, with the other survivors back at the camp. She's fine. Um, she tells him about Joss. He says, I know Joss went through a portal back to 1988. There's not much we could do to get him back at the moment. Maybe we'll find a way afterwards. But right now, we got to get out of this prison. The mine. Um, so, Eve and Levi have a plan. With 12 of the prisoners held hostage. Of our foul survivors from previous sinkholes. That fell down into the bottom of the earth. And now stuck in the past. They're going to attack the guards. That's the plan. Gavin tells them about the map he has. He's like, this is like a secret way we can get through here. We'll play it quietly. We can sneak out without nobody knowing. But Eve disagrees with Gavin's plan inside of Nevi's plan, which pisses off Gavin. But he doesn't do nothing about it. They attempt to escape. They attack both four or five of the guards, beat them down with shovels, pickaxes, whatever they get their hands on. But when they escape and almost get it away, they're outnumbered by the rest of the exiles. Gavin takes the blame for leading the escape, even though it wasn't his plan, and he gets punished for from it by getting beaten up by the exiles and punished, roughed up. So this time, after a while, they decide to try Gavin's plan. Nebai knocks out the guard that stand and watch over them, and they use the map and they're getting ready to escape. And Nebai wants to go back and free the other people being held prisoner, but Gavin's like, "We'll come back for them later. We're lucky we got out." This time, Eve sides with Gavin's plan, which pisses off Levar, of course. They make it back to camp. Eve is realigned with Lizzie. And that. Now, something else happened with the other survivors. Um, Pabla and her tribe show up to take Celias hostage back to the, the camp for questioning. Um, but they're pissed off that he's not there. He Got away, basically. So Ty tries to reason with her, saying, we'll find him, we'll bring him back. She said, no, a deal was a deal. And part of that deal was we'll give you, a lot, uh, give you almost all our food to help you survive. So as per punishment, they take all the food back, what they have. They just leave them scraps. So Ty, Sam and Ty don't want to lead a team to go back to this pe the other people's tribes headquarters. And take the food back. Um, while Lucas and Veronica want to do it. Steal the food back. And suddenly Scott. Which by the way he's lying about everything. He's lying that he was separated with Aubridge. He never seen the tower. He don't know what happened to it. All this crap. But Lucas is smart. He knows Scott is acting differently than he has before. So Scott. Scott is the one that comes up with his brain idea, by the way, to steal the food back. So Scott tricks Lucas. For some reason, Scott only wanted Lucas to go with him to steal the food back. But Veronica came along, which kind of upset Scott's whatever his plan was. Um, they get they sneak into the camp. Um, they almost get caught by a guard, but he just happens to not see them. He turns the other way. Um Scott fakes a leg injury, saying he can't go on no further, leave him behind. So Lucas and Veronica sneak into the camp, start stealing, stealing food, putting them in like duffel bags and stuff. And Lucas sees the guy that killed his mom, uh, one of the tribe members. So he pulls out his pocket knife and is going to stab the guy, but Veronica stops him. But he pushes her away. He follows the guy, hoping he can get him by himself. And the guy ends up, you find out, has a family. So Lucas can't bring himself to killing the guy found with his family. So Lucas lets him live. Him and Veronica meet up with Scott. And 
They get it back to camp. They show everybody, hey, we got the food back. Well, this ticks off Sam and Ty because we they told him not to do that. And now it's going to cause troubles. But you find something interesting. It shows you what Scott did. On his point of view. Scott started going through the camp, sneaking around. And he entered a tent, which was Salinas' tent. He rammed through it, upsetting stuff, breaking stuff. And he found like a key card of some sort. So that's why he wanted to go to that tribe, camp headquarters, to get that um, key card, not for the food. Um, he meets Aubridge in the woods, hands her the key card. She says, thank you. This will let us get into the tower, a door in the tower that's locked. Then it shows flashbacks from season one's finale. You find out Aubridge showed Scott an underground tunnel that the scientists and crew had made when they landed here to explore the place. And it leads to the tower or something like that. By this door in the tower appearing that's locked. And this key card might help to open it. Scott feels kind of bad for lying to his friends for why he's doing. She said, you're going to have to continue lying if you want to get out here. So, but then she also dangles the other carrot over his head. That his good friend Lucas, I mean, sorry, Raleigh and Josh, his good friends. She knows a way to get them back. From 1988 to the present. Which is that timeline there's. So I'm curious how she knows what to do. I am hoping Scott gets caught red handed. Lying to the group. And I'm um, working on Aubridge. Um, next week's episode. It shows the tribe. Shows back up. Knowing that these people have stolen the food back. They start attacking the survivors. And then all of a sudden a fog hits. And wild, like coyotes or wolves or something, it starts attacking people. So um, that should be a good episode as well. There you have it, folks. Let me know below what you thought of the episode of Ellery Bree this week. Um, do you? Why do you also let me know? Why do you think Scott only wanted Lucas to go with him and no one else? Because I'm kind of curious why too. Stay safe, everybody. Too sweet. Bye.